Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about 3D Sketch. Now, most of you know that uh, normally most of the designs are done with 2D Sketching and it's working really nice and you can do a lot of things with it, but there are some situations where 2D Sketch uh, is not good enough or the result that we are looking for um, Maybe a bit trickier to do it with the 2D sketch. And that's why I decided to create this video. And right here, I'm gonna show you a really good example of this situation and how we can actually achieve our goal with 3D sketching. And it's also relatively simple. So, but before we're gonna begin, I just wanna remind you, don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, bell icon so you can get a notification every time I'm releasing a new video. And also, don't forget to visit my website. Uh, go to uh, the forum section. Here you can um, ask me any question. As you can also see, there are three sub forums we have for boats and airplanes, and this is one for general discussions and help. And um, yeah, while you're here, uh, if you don't mind, uh, you can also check out the um, the table that I've created, as you can see right here. Um, this is for hardware benchmark. You can test your computer and, you know, uh, do all kinds of comparisons, which is great, especially if you're looking for a new computer. Now, moving on. So uh, we are back to 3D sketching. So I'm just gonna tell you about uh, what kind of situation uh, it might be helpful. So I don't know if you've seen my video about the Space Mouse, Space Mouse Pro. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, so uh, I recommend you to watch it. So this is the Space Mouse Pro. Uh, after I got it, uh, I was really um, excited about this product. It's amazing. And I also really liked the shape. And it gave me kind of an idea to try to build it in Fusion 360. So when I started designing it, uh, obviously I started with a 2D sketching. But uh, the result uh, were well, quite bad, not the, what I expected, not what I really wanted to achieve. But um, as you can see here, um, the shape is quite special. We have many curves to uh, a lot of sides. And it's very, very, very tricky to do it in uh, 2D sketching. It is possible, but it's gonna take you a really long time. So I decided to move on and to do it in 3D sketching. So what we are going to do today, and so we are going to build only the top surface because this is the tricky part. The rest is just to the sketching. So I'm going to show you how I create this one. And what I'm also gonna do is, I'm also gonna give you the file so you can see first how I build it. Again, you can play with it. And you can also see how I continue with the rest of the body. There are some really cool techniques over there, which gonna solve you a lot of problems uh, when working with, um, for example, with loft. And you can also see what I did instead of using the loft command, I use another command. So go ahead and after you're watching this video, you can just download it and play with it, okay? So let's begin. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna move all the way back so we're starting from scratch. So right here, as you can see, I've uh, put together all the canvases. If we have the top, we have the size, and we have the front. And <clears throat> so we're gonna start here. I'm gonna start with creating a new sketch, but first, of course, I'm going to activate my body uh, component here. I'm gonna start a new scratch, a sketch, sorry. Now, another thing you have to be careful, make sure that the 3D sketch is turned off, okay? I know it kind of sounds weird because we're working on 3D sketching. Yes, but turn it off because I'm gonna show you in a moment how we can uh, move the sketch around without actually doing it right here. And it's gonna be much easier. So in order to work with 3D sketching, the tool that we're gonna use, it is the spline tool, okay? I'm gonna use the control point because I feel more comfortable with it, but if you want, you can also use the fit point spline. So rule number one when working with the spline tool uh, in general is to use a less point as possible. Remember that we can always add more 
points later on if it's necessary. So I'm going to start uh, marking right here. So it's going to help me to figure out where's the center. Now I'm going to start with just a straight line. In a moment, I'm going to show you also why I'm doing it. And so I'm going to do like this. I'm going to do another one straight. So, and right now I'm going to connect them together. It's going to be also our center. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a dimension. I want this one to be one millimeter. And if it's, if it's happening to you, this one, so all you're going to do is I'm just going to go back. I'm going to dimension it. Okay. So I'm going to create a dimension right here. Oh, sorry. And that's going to keep it in place. So it's not going to move. So I'm going to go back. I just want a uh, one millimeter. I'm going to do the same right here. One millimeter. Now, the reason I'm creating this line, it's because um, in order to make the transition from one side to the other, so it's going to be much more smooth. And I'm going to explain it uh, later in more detail. Exactly. Um, so we have one millimeter here, one millimeter here, which is good. Um, we are not going to keep those dimensions. I'm going to delete them. It, this is just for now. Okay, so we can move on and continue with our sketching. So I want to know plus minus how many I'm going to need, how many points I'm going to need. So I'm just going to create, follow the, the canvas. And that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our constraint and I'm going to con create a tangent constraint between those two. It's very important. Good. So now we know that we have a tangent constraint here and everything is continue as it sh should. So with this point, we can start playing with the shape. Um, so this one can be a bit tricky maybe to move because of the tangent right here, but we can fix it later when we are moving it, mo uh, deleting the uh, constraint. But for now, I'm just going to do a rough design. As you can see right here, following the shape. like that. I'm not going to spend way too much time on it, but it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with the result. Now we can delete the dimensions and the constraints. And I know that everything is going to be in place. Nothing is going to move. So it looks really, really nice. I'm happy with the design. Okay. So we're going on, now we just need to um, finish the sketch. Now, another thing you should know in general about the um, with working with 3D sketching, you cannot um, mirror the sketches to the other side. Right now I can, I can do it, no problem, because we're not uh, change anything to the sketch in a 3D uh, dimension. So uh, we are still in 2D, so I can move it to the other side. But the problem is, if you're going to mirror the sketch to the other side, uh, and then we're going to start playing with, this, uh, uh, with, the, with, um, with the sketch itself to make it in 3D, it's not going to reflect on the other side. Okay? But I'm going to show you now what we're going to do. So we're just going to finish the sketch. So this is what we've got. Now we can turn on the side view and also the front view so we can have like back view we can also call it okay and we can move back here so now the fun starts begin okay we're going to select 
these two points I'm gonna hit the M on my keyboard to bring up the move command let's move it down a little bit so you can see it and I'm dragging it upward okay let me zoom in a little bit something like that so now we can move on to the next point okay now if you're clicking on it and it suddenly let me show you I'm gonna wait another second you see when you're waiting and then you're clicking on another point what's gonna happen it's gonna do like multiple selection and what's happening to you just click on the X here and then you can reselect the point and then you can move it up and then again then we move this one upward okay this two three four should be enough now we're gonna move to the side it can be a bit confusing so I'm just gonna turn this one off right so we are now we're back here we are going to start shaping our model right here according to our canvas now obviously you're probably asking hey you forgot to do the center line and you're right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to exit this one i'm going to go back to my sketch and i need to add some points here so i'm going to right click on our line here and then insert a spline control point now those points are quite important uh, that their position because that's something that's going to help um, to determine when we are using the loft command for example how the shape is going to look and so i'm just going to try to add almost as equal point as we've got i don't think i'm going to need more than that so going back we're finishing and now we can go and we can start um, bring up the move command just need to make sure that we are on the sketch project so now we can select the point and then we can drag it down you can see like that and this one i'm gonna bring up this one maybe i'm gonna move as you can see i have way too many points been selected so i can also drag this one so i have more freedom the way i'm dragging the points now i also need to bring these up so we need to move to the other side and we're going to do the same as before but now i'm just going to create multi selections because i want to bring all those pieces together upward and i'm gonna also turn on uh, let's see what we've got here we are a little bit on blind but let's see what we're going to do is um yeah so we're going to move it to the side like that now we can move all of them somewhere here okay and this one i also need to push up this one i can just keep it like that you see now i'm just you know following the curves playing with it and making sure that it looks good this one right here and uh, i wanted to be I want it to be straight as possible so let's see if we can make it straight now right here what we need to do is um, let's check it out it actually looks good yeah I know from this side it maybe doesn't look good but in, in general it looks good but I don't want to waste way too much time I just want to show you the idea how it works uh, right now at this side here I'm just wanna do something like this and this one look fine and this one as well I don't want it to be way too curved here in this area 
let's see yeah and generally i'm pretty happy with the result we can always change it later so this is as you can see here let me just turn off so what we actually did here we are creating our 3d sketch we took our 2d from 2d position to 3d okay and when we're moving one up as you can see i didn't really change much of the shape see the shape is still the same as before because we moved the our sketch or the points in a specific position for example on the y-axis okay so we're just moving things upward so um so from the top it doesn't look like we we made any kind of change okay but sometimes it can happen when we move things too much you have to be careful but you can always for example if i turned on the top view as you can see here uh, it's pretty much the same but right now if i want i can always make changes to this one for example, I can move this one a little bit more like that. So now we're moving it on the Z axis and just gonna click OK. And it looks really, really nice. So what we're doing now, now we're going to the surface environment and we are going to create a patch because we, act we have here a close um, sketch, okay? Um, close boundary so we can use the patch environment to help us create the first surface and we finish our sur first surface now we want to uh, mirror this surface to the other side let me give you a tip i don't know if the center uh, geometry is actually right in the center to be sure what I'm going to do is, because what happens sometimes, we're thinking that we are on the center, but we're not. And then we're going to mirror it. And after we mirror it, uh, you're going to see that there are some spaces in the middle. In order to avoid that situation, so I'm going to add another step here. I'm going to do an extend. Okay, you have this tool here, extend. So I'm going to select the edge here and I'm just going to give it one push and OK now we can go to modify and split body i'm gonna choose this one as our this is the, our surface the body that we want to split i'm just gonna turn on the origin in order to choose the splitting tool and it's gonna be this one and now we can just turn this piece off we don't need it anymore so we made sure now that we are actually when we're going to a mirror it to the other side so as you can see here we it's gonna be perfectly cut in the center and everything is gonna touch each other like that at this point we're going to stitch them both together but we are not done yet because what we have actually created here as you can see we have this uh, yeah bridge in the middle and it doesn't look good so in order to perfect it and to make it really nice and smooth, what we are going to use now, it is we're going to create a new, uh, um, create a new sketch and we're going to use the 3D, uh, include 3D geometry projection. And what we want to project is the edges all around like that. Now, if you didn't do what I did here in order to make sure that we are in the center, I mean, that they are really touching each other, both pieces, you're going to have some issues right here. OK, so make sure you're doing it. And now I know that everything is uh, has been uh, projected. OK, uh, except right here, something doesn't look right. I just want to make sure and finish this point we can turn off a uh, hide our body here so we can see that everything looks good and uh, we can go back to our patch and then it's enable chaining and we're going to select all that 
and here we go so already now you can see our pieces look much much better okay it looks really 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 nice look at that but this is not uh, the end result that I'm looking for because I'm going to do some uh, a little bit more changes I want to make for example this one maybe more straight and so how we can achieve that uh, the way to do it it's quite simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back turn on our sketch here I want to make this area more flat and we're going to create now an offset plane from here all the way somewhere about right here yes I'm going to right click on it and create a new sketch go to create project uh, include and then intersect project if you haven't seen my videos about the different projections so you go ahead and watch it so we have the two point now uh, that we can use our straight line from one side to the other so now I made sure that everything is connected it's very important can finish this sketch now we can go back double click on our feature here our uh, surface feature that we have created and now we can see here interiors point so we can select this one and this sketch I've just created and now we made sure that it's nice and straight and flat okay and basically this is it I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna add another one the next one I'm gonna add it's right here it's way too curved like that okay um, I want to make I give it a different shape so it's a little bit more flat at the top I'm gonna move it all the way I need something about here so I'm gonna do the exact same thing right click and I'm gonna do edit sorry not edit feature uh, right click and then create a new sketch I'm just gonna turn this one off and we're going to create a new intersection projection just click somewhere on the line it's automatically gonna uh, project the right point and I'm going to use again the control point spline I'm gonna do one two the three it's gonna be somewhere here and then I wanted to make this equal uh, points on both sides first I'm gonna do the horizontal uh, constraint right here and we can if we want we can also create some dimension to make sure they are exactly uh, equal right in the middle so let's just say we are um, creating a dimension here from this one to this one it's gonna be let's just say 15 and this one it's gonna be the exact same so now we know that both sides when we are gonna move it up and down they're gonna be um, horizontally um, aligned to each other and also the same distance to the center which is quite important so I'm also gonna add another one here to the center right like that okay so again we're going now what happened here and that's another trick I'm gonna show you you see I did it after the surface patch here so I need to mean to move it back so I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right before our patch okay so here we go I can select the uh, rail points again here so I can choose this one and voila here we go so and now at this point I can play with the shape if I don't like it but now it's more flat and I can move things around the way I want uh, yeah and you can do it also to the other side okay you can do a lot of things with this and yeah so this is how you work with 3d sketching uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg but the information that I show you it's gonna also it's already gonna give you a heads up so you can start playing with 3d sketching 
I watch it the video a few times because you can see I've used many kind of techniques right here. And again, if you have any questions for me, just come here to the form section and ask me. Don't forget to add all the information that you have, images and so on, so I know exactly um, how to help you. And as, as I mentioned before, I'm going to attach um, the file that I've worked with right here. And so you can download it, play with it, and you can see also how I continue and build everything, also the bottom part and connect them together. Especially the connection between these two uh, can be tricky. But if you open the file, you will see what I did. Then, you know, a light bulb will come out and say, okay, cool. Um, and, and if you still don't understand, just uh, come to my forum, ask me a question, and I'm going to help you. So this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the, for, uh, the, the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every time I'm releasing a new video and check out my website. And stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.